From a distance, Kasuvina Vlagala would go for any ordinary Catholic church with a seating capacity of about 1,000 members. The activities carried out here are similar to any activity in any Catholic church, and yet it is a church whose rich history could leave many guessing. On the 23rd of February 1879 from Chitevi, Father Lodel Simeon, commonly known as Mapera, was welcomed by the King Mutesa I in his palace at Rubaga. Mutesa then gave them permission to stay on his land and to teach their religion to his subjects. This would therefore serve as their home and church. Excited about the authority given to them, the White Fathers held their first Holy Mass right here. This was the beginning of the Novena. We meet Sebastian in Tabua Parishioner to help us connect the past to the present day Navlagala. Their, their leader, Livignard, didn't want to risk both of them to come. He said, yeah, you must pay the mass. First go there and, uh, and uh, see what happened there. And that he made that. If, you go, if, we, if they had died this way, <laughs> they would have stopped there. So then when Mapera came, they started constructing the, the, new, uh, the new parish. Now it became a new parish because it was given to them by, by, the, by, by the king. Days later, the two missionaries together with the other three who joined them later on from Tanzania visited King Mutesa who asked them to build a bigger house and provided them with his foreman, Joseph Mukasa Bariku Dembe, who would later on become the first martyr. Brother Amens also dug a well, which is popularly known as Oluzirwa Mapera, or Well of Mapera, situated a few meters from the parish and now used by the public. Present day Mapera Navlagala Parish is a much warmer place to visit with a lot to behold. Entry to the parish exposes a beautiful church and a memorial chapel built in 1939. Most outstanding is a mold of Father Lodel, known as Mapera, standing with hands stretched to the front, upwards, with the Eucharist in hand. At this place is also where the remains of the five white fathers lie. Remains that were finally reburied at the final resting place here in Navalagala on the 6th of March 2011. Very respected and well maintained is this burial ground. As part of the maintenance, we were unfortunate to find only one picture of Mapera since the rest had been taken for refurbishment. Besides the chapel is a burial ground of all the White Fathers of Africa resting at a place referred to as the Peace Garden. Resting in the same place is Natalia Mukasa, a sister to Saint Joseph Mukasa Barikudembe. On entry to the church, a scenic view welcomes you, with walls that bear the way of the cross, plus portraits of Mother Mary and Joseph. The side window and door parts are as well decorated with the pictures of Father Simeon Lodel, or Mapera, Amans, plus Saints Joseph Barikudembe, Lukaba Nabachintu, Andrew Kagwa, and Matthias Mulumba, who were all baptized and took catechism classes here. The pulpit is a more sacred area. This is the place where the lyrics of Mapera are secretly kept. These can only be viewed through a glass. A distance away from the church at the parish priest's office, we were blessed to hold in hand the white and purple stola used by Father Lodel and the water sprinkler. This indeed makes this escapade more interesting. We are also told the genesis of the name White Fathers, which simply comes from their vestments that were always white. A long inner vest called a gandura, a flappy bull nose, all completed with a rosary that is similar to a Muslim tasbih. We then ask if there is anything one needs to know more about Navalagala. There were four. Paul Narubandwa, Peter Chono Nekadamlira, Joseph Luanga and Leo Kadu. They were baptized in March, that's a full year after, they, were, they took a full year to prepare them to be baptized. Then the following month, in April, Agua and the Barikudembe also got baptized. Then after another month, then in Mukasa, ah, Lukabana Bachintu and Matia Mulumba also got baptized. They were taken month, month, month. And so, Navlagala goes down in history as the birthplace of the Catholic religion in Uganda, where the first Holy Mass and first baptism took place. A place which the first Ugandan martyr helped to build. Mildred Tohaise, NBS, live at nine.